Hello everybody and welcome to Ballincraig Estate in Ireland. So not so long ago, I actually did put a vote on my community page to ask what you wanted me to play next. It has to be an Irish map and really this was the most requested one. So that's why we're here. We're going to do a full let's play here. It's not going to be a super realistic let's play. It's going to be like a laid back one, um, but not stupid, not like uh, having tractors flying through the air and me doing really dumb stuff, although that comes naturally anyway. So what we're going to do is we are going to kind of begin today. Um, we do have to transfer some money across and also some animals, but this is where I need your input. The issue is this farm is predominantly sheep and cows, not pigs. We actually start off with 25 cows, which is very nice, uh, but the problem is we have, I think it's, how many is it, about 180 pigs to transfer? Maybe 200. Uh, but we can't do that, because this farm does not really support pigs. So, what do we do? Do we split them half and half and somehow transform them into sheep and cows? Or, do we have just one of each, uh, well, have just cows or just sheep? Or do we just forget the whole idea and just start with just the 25 cows and nothing else? This is the thing which I really do need to find out. I would suggest, really, if it was me doing it with no input from my audience, I would probably split them straight down the middle and have something like 100 sheep and 100 cows. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably have to stick a vote out of there to actually know for sure. But that is... Um, that is the only issue with this map, otherwise it's going to be perfect. And actually it wouldn't be an issue at all if you're playing it yourself, it's just because I'm transferring stuff across. Uh, and it just ha so happens that I have a load of pigs and nothing else. So, this farm is arable and livestock, it isn't just livestock. I know a few people were a little bit worried that it was, but no it isn't at all. So we're going to take the drone up into the air. Um, I actually don't have any mods installed yet. Because, again, I'm trying to just figure out the best tractors to have. We do have the New Holland T5, which we start off with, and a New Holland baler, and the old New Holland uh, 8340. Yep, that's right. Uh, we also have a Combine Harvester, a case. So, um, yeah, we have a good selection of machinery. I think we're going to be replacing some of it, but it's nice that we do start off with some stuff. So, yeah, as I was about to say, I think that the best tractors to get are, well, New Hollands, which we've already got, the Fiat, I think it's called the Fiat Agri, uh, but yeah, the Fiat, possibly some Ford, um, I'm not sure about Fent, possibly some Fent tractors, possibly some Massey Ferguson tractors, when I say some, I mean probably one and, um, yeah, not necessarily all the brands I mentioned. JCB, I don't know about JCB, I really... I'm unsure if JCB are actually used heavily in Ireland or not. Uh, so I'm going to need some input there from the Irish. Uh, in fact, this whole series is going to require quite a bit of input from the Irish, but I'm sure you'll let me know if I make a mistake or if I you know, ask for a bit more information, which is brilliant. Um, and uh, what was the other brand? Oh, I'm forgetting it now. Um, well, I'm sure it will come to me or somebody will mention it. But yeah, those are the brands really which I was, um, well, I was thinking about. I'm not necessarily going to have all of those or any of those, but we'll see. So yeah, let's just fly up into the air. Whoop! Oh yeah, that's weird. So, how many of these are arable fields? That is the question. In fact, how many fields are ours? That's another question. It looks like all four in this direction, which makes it quite nice. In fact, is it an even split? Two arable, two grass? Uh, not necessarily. Maybe just the one arable. Anyway, yeah, we own we own a lot of the land in this direction, which is nice, like this area here. So there is going to be uh, some ploughing required, because we are going to have to have some more arable than what we have here. I think maybe even today we'll start that. It's not going to be a massive field that we transform into the uh, arable, but one of them does need to be, maybe even this one here. Let's just see. Unless it's a, a, well, a very important field for livestock, which is what I've got to watch out for, I would say it can be uh, converted to arable. This might be a bit too close for comfort, just in case some animals actually live in the field. Last thing we want is for them to be roaming through the crop of wheat or barley, or 
oil seed rape or whatever. So, yeah, I would say the furthest away from the field. Although, from the farm, sorry. Although we could actually buy some more land. Because we can do in this series. And the land isn't too expensive. So, we'll buy that. I think we're going to have roughly 200 to 300,000 pounds after buying the equipment we require. Just so it doesn't become a joke. Um, I do actually get a lot of people saying, can you just play from scratch? And I would do. But I've done it before. And it's always a bit of a failure or it's too slow. Like, there is progression but it's extremely slow. And then I just get bombarded with questions and comments and stuff saying, oh, you're going so slowly, just change the map and do something different. So I can't really. It's just not something that's um, on my to-do list anymore. It's just not a recommended thing. So yeah, let's begin. Let's stop flying around in the air. Let's try and do some farming. Like I say, the, the money and the animals will be coming later in episode two. But today, we can do something else. We have machinery here. We can, well, do anything. Anything we feel like. I don't think we'll be doing any bailing today. I might actually get a few mods in just to begin with because I would like to just sort of, you know, set the scene. Don't want to have all the base stuff. So we may not be using this tractor. Let's just see how much a plough is, because I would like to have a fairly big plough. We're not going to go for stupidly big stuff, stuff which you wouldn't even see in the area, but I don't know, something like the Coon or the Amazon here. I'd say that'd be fine, because if we are going to put some land as a crop instead of just grass, we are going to have to do it with something half decent in size, otherwise it's going to take us way too long. So I'm going to go and buy the one tractor which I know for sure I am definitely putting in the series. Right, so it is the Fiat Agri, as mentioned before. The Kubota is here. I'm not going to buy it today, but I still get so many people saying, can you buy the Kubota? Now, the Kubota is, from an exterior point of view, really, really good. The interior's got a few issues. For example, when you accelerate, you sort of fly out the back window, which is not very good. Um, but if it had a bit of tweaking, I would definitely want to have that mod in the map because it would just fit in so well. Um, but yeah, with its current issues... I don't think it would really go down too well, but otherwise, yeah, it would be it would be very nice to have it. Right, so let's go a little bit crazy here, shall we? Let's go for this. We'll have a beacon. Ooh, lots of stuff. And um Fender's large. <laughs> I don't know what all these things are, but still. I don't really want two beacons. I want the fenders, but I also want beacons. Do you get beacons anyway with the fenders? <laughs> I don't know. We'll soon find out. Oh yeah, we can also teleport on here. Yeah, this, um, I don't know what the fender thing was about. I don't know if it's like these back things here. I really don't know. The good thing is we can modify it, I suppose. If we really want to. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I'm not too sure what that was about. Yeah, I think it was the extension of the fenders and then I've replaced it with a beacon. Anyway, yeah, here it is. Here is the Fiat 14090 Turbo DT. I am unsure of how loud that actually is. Um, I usually play about 20%, so that should be fine. Just look at the exhaust vibrating. Such a nice mod. And, yeah, such nice tyres as well. So, yeah, I think it's actually a fairly beasty tractor, this. We should be able to put a fairly big plow on the back of it. Let's just see the horsepower. 140. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is much bigger than it actually looks. I would guess it's about 80 or something if that was the first time I saw it. They are some impressive tractors. So, we are realistically looking at the Coon plow just here, which we already own, actually. Uh, so we could just head back over to the farm and pick it up. I might just take something else with me because I've got a few things installed now. I've just enabled the odd thing. Um, just trying to decide what else we could actually take at this stage. There isn't really much. Uh, let's just go into uh, cultivators. I did get that, but I don't know. Do we need it? I suppose we do, actually, because we need to break down the ploughed, uh, the ploughed land. Okay, so we'll get that. 
At least we'll be making the most of uh, taking the tractor back. We won't have to come back again for something. Although chances are we will be buying more stuff. Because we always buy more stuff. There we go. Oh no, I haven't got manual attach. That's a first. I usually do use manual attach now on, for some reason, on the, uh, the unrealistic series, on the not so realistic series. But no, not this time. I'm going to keep it actually on the realistic series primarily. So from here, we have to go... Maybe just follow the road round. Because it isn't a very big map, and I have mentioned this before, um, but the way it's designed makes it very nice to play. It's got a lot of hedges, a lot of trees, and it actually looks much big. Well, it feels bigger than what it actually is. Yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, well, it's like a power harry sort of thing. Very nice. But yeah, it's going to be short lived. We're going to have to take it off, and we need to start plowing some grass. So you'll notice we have three hundred and seventeen thousand pounds. Um, I think yeah, we'll keep it at that. I won't add any more money in. It's not going to be like the endless money supply series. Let's just check the beacon works. Yep. Yeah, I don't think it would look that good actually with double beacon. Dual beacon. Uh, usually, most tractors do, but no, I like to keep the one with just the one. So it is quite a tight yard, and I know that some people have recommended actually getting rid of some of the buildings. I think I'm going to keep them unless I sort of get frustrated by them. I don't think I will get frustrated. Because, um, well, as you've watched my videos for a while, I'm sure, you'll know that I don't get frustrated too easily. <laughs> yeah. Only by the caravans and ETS 2. Anyway, yes, let's uh, let's try and find this plough. Where are the ploughs? Where is the plough? It's going to be pretty tricky to find it. It's probably in one of these sheds. It's narrowing it down, but... Oh no! Sorry. My sheep are in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to check them up. Although, yeah, as it is a fairly uh, tight yard, as mentioned, it is possibly going to make it look like the plough is just... Oh! It's over there. I should have checked that before. Let's go and get it. I'm just absolutely addicted to looking at that exhaust pipe. It's the most satisfying thing ever. <laughs> just by the way it's rattling. I don't know what's so satisfying about it. I just love looking at it. People are going to start thinking I'm a pretty weird person, aren't they, if I uh, enjoy watching exhaust pipes rattling. I need to find something else to do in my life. Right, let's go up here. Let's go and find this plough. I actually didn't know, well actually if I, I forgot that we had this yard up here, I did know because I've done a first video on it, but that was a while ago. Okay, so here we are. I would think it's pretty obvious as to where it is, I would say it's in that shed. Aha, there it is. Along with some fertiliser, mustn't forget we have that. We have the fertiliser spreader, the drill, a cultivator and the plough. I would have liked to go for the next size up for the plough, but obviously, yeah, it would have been a bit of a push for this tractor. And, uh, yeah, I'm not looking to be unrealistic. Okay. Let's just grab it on the back. Good. So I'm not saying this is going to be a quick job, because it is not at all. It's going to be probably, actually, a very painfully slow job. And this is another reason why you can't have big stuff, because the yards are so tight that you just wouldn't be able to manoeuvre. So it's a good incentive to keeping the smaller equipment. So field one, that is the field we purchased. That is probably the best field to go for today, uh, unless we decide to buy another one. But yeah, field one, uh, I'm going to try and head to. If I can figure out how to get to it. Mind the back of the plough, mind the traffic, mind the hedge. Yeah, I think it's just up here. I assume it is. So I've actually got a flail as well, which I'd like to buy. Because um, we can do some road verge mowing. Uh, I'm just going to try and do some different stuff in the series. If anybody has anything they'd like to suggest, I will quite willingly give it a go. Because um, this is actually probably one of the first series which I've done. Where I'm not really uh, 
being restricted by anything. I don't really have a particular job that I'd like to focus on. So yeah, it's um, certainly a good one for you to suggest different things on. I hope this is field one. I haven't just walked into some random person's field. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I'm keeping the traffic waiting. Well, you're just going to have to wait a bit longer. Because this is quite a turn. I'm in the hedge at the back. I'm in the gatepost at the front. Luckily, the traffic isn't being too impatient. They could be worse. I'm now crashing into the gatepost. And we're in. Just about. Thank you for waiting, cars. Okay, so I'm going to put a border on here, just so we can actually mark things out. As I said, it isn't a very big field. Now you can actually get different mods which I've seen, which basically allow you to very quickly transform a grass field into an arable field um, by having a really wide implement which can effectively plough the ground. I didn't realise he went around a corner. I don't like to turn with the plan enough to lift it up. Um, but yeah, that is that is one way of doing it. You can use like a cultivator actually, but it's got a plough texture. It can delete grass. Once I've got these markings out, it should be fairly simple. And you know what? I think we're going to have to do a pretty big time lapse, although it's going to be condensed to be fairly short. Because uh, this field needs to be done by me. I can't use a worker because obviously the worker wouldn't have a clue what to do. And there is no original field anyway. So, yeah, this is going to take some time. I would hate to do the biggest field. <laughs> you would never do the biggest field with this player. I suppose actually the most sensible thing to do would have been to cut the grass first and then use the grass as feed. But luckily we're not really restricted, we don't have seasons running or anything, so it's just it's all just a really laid back series, as I mentioned before. Just time for me to do whatever I feel like doing. Okay, so we should go back up there. And then that'll be the markings done. I can actually remember doing this at college as well. Putting the markings out first when playing the field. And there we have it. So it is pretty good. Um, you're probably thinking, what on earth is that triangle in the middle? Well, it doesn't plough. So I don't know. These bits over here probably do. Just make sure I finish off what I can do. Oh no, they don't. So yeah, there is the odd piece which you can't actually touch, but it doesn't really matter. That piece does. Um, 
But yeah, at the end of the day, we've got a field. We've now got a field which we can put some crops into, which I think is very good. I should think that'll play out too. Yep. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to take this back to the farm. And uh, in the next episode, we'll probably bring the power harrow in. And also, we'll have whichever animals we've chosen. I will be very interested to see the decision on this. Um, I really don't know what's going to win. I guess now I've suggested something that might win. But yeah, it's uh, an open vote. Nobody is being told what to vote for. Take your pick. We'll see what wins. I suppose we should put the plough back into this yard as this is where it came from. Otherwise, things are going to get mixed up. But, yeah, I don't think we'll actually be changing the plough, ever. Because we won't be able to get a bigger plough in. This one is doable. But it's a little bit tricky. Right, so, I thoroughly enjoy using the Fiat. Really nice. Very good mod, very good tractor. And uh, I think it's going to fit in very well. Absolutely love the wheels. The tyres are just brilliant. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do feel free to post some feedback down below. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.